Hello everybody, how goes it? Rabbit S'more here, and this is a tutorial and a proof of concept for an armor stand timer. And this is something that I kind of stumbled upon while I was messing around in creative mode, and it seems to have quite a bit of potential to it. So I wanted to show it off to you guys to see if maybe it would spark some inspiration or if there were a lot of other things that you could do with this. I'm not quite sure yet. But as the name implies, it uses an armor stand as a timer. And I have a basic example here, and I'll go ahead and throw an armor stand in here. And I'm just going to throw a helmet on it just so it's a little easier to keep track of. But you can see in here as it goes around this that it's actually very consistent on its timing. Especially if you listen to the clicks here. It's almost like an exact one second clock. And as you can see here, I have some examples from where the redstone would go out if you wanted to send outputs of this. But from you can see from the actual build of this timer system, it's actually very simple to build. There's no redstone involved, there's no iron. It's just very simple things like fence, signs, water, and pressure plates. And the pressure plates could even be wooden if you wanted. And of course the armor stand itself for going around. Since we can use water to push it and it activates pressure plates, it actually allows us to create a timer system like this one here. And it has quite a bit of potential. Like you could have the timer activate only once every time it goes around. So only this one would have an activation going out. You could activate it on each corner here, or you could activate it on every single corner as it goes around, depending on how you wanted your timer to set up. And you could also run this multiple things off of one timer. This could go to one thing, this could go to another mechanism, and you could have four different things on this single one here. And you could have even more if you build larger setups. So I'll quickly show how to build this example, but this is just the basic building block for how to build these types of timers. There's actually quite a bit of things that you can do with them. Other than this type of setup here, you can make them bigger or smaller and use different things to slow them down or make them faster. But for this example, I'm going to go ahead and use a 4x4 area like this one here, and I'm going to put fences in the center. You could use solid blocks in the center. I've just found that using fences in the center makes it a little more consistent. And what I'm doing is using the pressure plates. Again, you can use wooden or stone. But I'm going to use pressure plates on the sides here and then a sign next to it to stop the water from flowing off to the side. So this just makes sure that our water only goes one direction here. And then I'm gonna do the same thing in all the other corners. We're just gonna put pressure plates and signs to stop the water from going off to the sides here. So I'm putting a sign next to each one of our pressure plates. And then when I place the water, it will make sure that it pushes it all the way around on each side. So now when I throw in our armor stand, like right there, it will actually go around and activate all four corners here. And if you don't want it to activate a corner, you can just not put a redstone signal going from that side, or you can replace the pressure plate in that corner with a sign if you want it, and it will do the same thing. It still stops the water and allows the armor stand to go all the way around. So some of the advantages to using the armor stand timer or clock, as opposed to using something like a hopper timer or a redstone clock, is that this doesn't break when you leave the loaded chunks that it's in. Like, if I left this area and these became, this chunk area became completely unloaded and I came back, it would still be working just like it is right now. And something that happens with hopper timers and redstone clocks, at least that I've found, is that they have a tendency to break whenever you leave the area that they're in and then come back. You'll find that the redstone is just stuck on or stuck off, and you'll have to reset the systems to get them working again. So this actually is much better in that sense that you can actually leave the chunks and come back and never worry about it breaking. So that is definitely a big plus on this as opposed to the other types of timers and clocks. The other thing is the simplicity of this. It's very easy to build and it doesn't require a bunch of redstone or iron to get started. It's a very simple thing to get started. You only need a bit of wood or stone or whatever you're using to build it. Like for this example, all we needed is wood to make the pressure plates and the signs and the fences and the armor stand. So it's very easy to build as opposed to a redstone clock or a hopper timer. All right, so I wanna show a couple different examples of how you can use this and how you can adjust the timing of it so you can get more exact timing on it. So this one here is a three by three area built similar to the one that we had, but you can see it uses only two water sources instead of having one in each corner. And we have two pressure plates here. So with this example, I have it set so that just this corner here will activate this light here as it goes around. So the timing is however long it takes to go all the way around here one single time. Of course, I could use the other corner if I wanted to, but this is just an example of the smallest area that you could have or the smallest armor stand timer that you could use if you wanted to. 
The next one over, I'm showing that you can use Soul Sand with this. So Soul Sand does actually affect how quickly the armor stand will go around the timer. So this is actually a really effective way of delaying your timer. You can see as it goes around, it activates this lamp here, but it's a very effective way of delaying your timer and it keeps it so you can keep your builds pretty small. Like for example, on this one, if I wanted it to be slightly slower, I could put a piece of soul sand here. And if I wanted it even slower than that, I could put another one here and all the way around if I wanted to, to make it as slow as possible. The other thing is about these larger designs, like these four by fours, is that you can have multiple inputs and outputs going through it. Like this one here, I have it actually set up so that each corner all the way around will activate the light on the side here. So I'll show that real quickly. You can see as it goes around on each of these corners, it turns the light on and off. So it's very similar to a clock in that sense or a hopper timer so that you get that exact timing. And this example over here, we have a longer version, but I just use this as an example to show that you can build them as big as you want. Obviously you don't need to, especially with things like soul sand being able to slow it down a lot. Actually this one, the longer one over there is still faster than this one here, even though it is so long because the soul sand slows it down so much. So something like this is pretty unnecessary, but I did want to show that it is possible. And I'm also showing that this corner here is turning this lamp on and off. Whereas you can also use these designs or the armor, stammer, armor stand timers to turn something on and off. And you'll see that here with this light being off. As the armor stand goes over, it sets a toggle off and it toggles this light on. The next time it would go all the way around this circuit, it would toggle this light off again. So you can use this as a single pulse like this one here or as a toggle to toggle things on and off. And again, if you want to set things to exact timers, you can adjust the size of the build to as big or small as you wanted. And you can always use soul sand to set the timer as well, just in case you want an exact timing to go all the way around. All right guys, so again, this is just kind of a proof of concept to show that this kind of thing is possible and hopefully inspire some other sort of creations and ways to use armor stands in redstone creations. But again, this type of thing, like the armor stand timer here, I think is very practical. It's again, very resource friendly, easy to build, and it doesn't break when chunks unload. So this is something that could completely replace redstone clocks or hopper timers in certain situations, and maybe even all together, I'm not sure. But I just wanted to get this out there to hopefully spark some good thoughts and some good creations of this type of use and maybe some other good uses for armor stands, not sure. But as always guys, thanks for watching. Have an excellent day and see you later.